With all of the hundreds of thousands of different things that we can be doing to our servers now, getting as much information to our players as quickly as possible has never been more important. And I know I've covered a plugin in the past that does this for us. It basically puts a splash page up as soon as the player joins our server. And while that one does do the trick, it's not very customizable or at least not very easily customizable. So today I want to show you a brand new plugin that was just released to the market within days of the recording of this video, which is completely customizable and completely modular. So you can add as much as you want or not add as much as you want. Today, we're talking about Welcome Controller. Hey everybody, welcome back to Rust Admin Academy where I'm teaching you everything that you need to know about owning and operating a successful Rust server. On this channel, I do plugin reviews and tutorials. Plus I wanna give you all of the little tips and tricks that are gonna help you be more successful. If you're brand new to the channel, if you could do me the huge favor of subscribing to the channel and turning your notifications on so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Plus if you take any value out of this specific video don't forget to hit that like button for me all right let's get into welcome controller this is going to be a good one Okay, so we're starting out right at the source and that is of course codefling.com. This is welcome controller. I'm gonna put all the links that you need for this video in the video description down below. So make sure you check down there before you go looking for yourself. So welcome controller by itself is great. And for most server owners out there, it might be everything that you're looking for. But if you run a shop plugin on your server or a kits plugin on your server, or if you have any type of VIP system on your server, then welcome controller is going to blow your mind. So if you have a look on the right hand side here, you're gonna see this bundle purchase right here with a whole bunch of other plugins that can be added onto Welcome Controller. And Amino has done a great job of pricing this out. We went over the numbers, we made sure that it was fair. So if you wanna buy this entire package, you're getting it at a great price. So in the package, we've got the Welcome Controller UI, which works really great by itself, or you can add on any one of these modular plugins to it. Each one of these modular plugins will function on its own. So if you just wanna buy the Shop Controller, you can do that. You don't have to purchase the Welcome Controller in order to make the Shop Controller work. And the same thing goes with the Skin Controller or the kit controller. Whatever mix and match combination of things you want to do, you can do. But with this package here, you're basically getting an entire suite of all of the plugins that all attach together. And I imagine at this point, because you haven't actually seen anything yet, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about as far as attaching plugins here and there and doing this and doing that. So let's hop in game so I can show you exactly what's going on. So by default, with no other plugins added to it, this is what Welcome Controller is basically going to look like on your server. So every time a player joins your server, this is the first thing that they're going to see before they even wake up. So we've got all of the basic info about our server. So that can be plugin details, that can be gather rates, that can be whatever you want in this section right here. And there's pages to it too. So we can go to the next screen and the next screen and the next screen. You can have basically as many pages on here as you want. And that's all completely configurable, obviously in the configuration file. We're gonna get to that in a minute. On the left-hand side here, once the player is done with the information about our server, they of course can click on this rules button right here and it's gonna take them to whatever rules you've set up for your server. Now, as far as editing the information that's on these pages, you're gonna to wanna to do that directly from the configuration file. But we're gonna come back here in a minute and I'm gonna show you how you can customize the crap out of this page. So in the configuration file, there is an absolute ton of information. And I'm really only gonna be showing you how to change the information that's displayed on that page that we were looking at a minute ago. So let's scroll down here. So having a look at the panel pages right here, this is obviously right away, we're jumping into the information that you just saw on that page previously. And you can obviously change the color of the text, the size of the text, basically whatever you want. And then you can put whatever information in here that you deem relevant for your players. And if we scroll down here just a little bit and get down to the rules, section of course this is obviously the rules tab and you can change your rules in here and it doesn't it doesn't have to be rules you can make this whatever you want it to be you can just use this as a template so that you know what the syntax looks like if you're going to change it to something else for example if we look down below where we've got these templated rules in here we've got some really specific information about this rules category that we're looking at right now so of course we can change the name of it so this is what will appear on the left hand side but what i want to bring your attention to are these three lines right here so we can add another panel or another section on the left hand side there we can call it let's say we want to call it something VIPs so that only VIPs can see the information that's in that tab so if you wanted to you could give this panel a permission that then of course would have to be granted to whatever player or whatever group of players you want to have access to this one specific panel and then you get to decide do you want to show that there's a panel there to the people that don't have this permission if you do leave this set to true if you don't even want them to see that there's an available panel there change that to false and they won't even see that option until they get that permission granted to them. If you do leave it visible, you can control what they see once they go in there. So by default, Amino has it set up to say you don't have permission to view this page. And I don't normally like to toot my own horn, but that was my idea, that whole permission thing. 
that came from me. Scrolling down a little bit more, you're gonna see where we can start adding the different plugins in here. We're not quite ready for that yet. I wanna show you a couple more things first before we start adding those additional plugins in. So going back to the beginning, I was talking about how you can customize the crap out of this plugin. Obviously you only want your admins or moderators to be able to customize this stuff. So there is of course a permission associated with this. So let's just pull up my panel here. Let's go into permissions. Let's select welcome controller. And you wanna make sure that you have this welcome controller dot admin permission granted to whomever you want to be able to access what I'm about to show you. So if you go in chat and you type slash welcome edit with no space, that's gonna bring up your welcome panel, but it's also got this editing bar down at the very very bottom. Now this is where you get to do all of the customization you want. The only thing that you're not going to change in here is the text that's in the main body sections of any one of your pages. So let's say you wanted to change this logo right here. You didn't like this house icon that's up there and you have another logo that you want to put in its place. So you click on that icon, it selects it down below. You'll see logo panel is now highlighted. And then we can go into the image section right here. And of course we would be able to post it in a new image location, press enter, hit the save menu button on the left hand side right here. And boom, now we have a new image image there. And you can do this for literally any section that you see on the page right now. If you don't like how this player counter is looking up here, you can do the exact same thing there. Just click on it and you can see behind me there, it changed to players panel away from the logo panel. We can change the size of the text. We could change the color of the text. We could change what it says. There's a ton of stuff that you can do in here. But if you have anybody that's any good with graphics, it's going to completely open up your world as far as how you can make this look. Now, what I'm about to show you is an extreme case. It's not meant to look good. It's meant to show you how much editing or customization you can do to welcome controller. So I just went ham, started creating graphics for everything in every different position that I could think of. And this is now what I've ended up with. So obviously I've changed my logo. I've changed what it says up in the top left-hand corner, just with another graphic. You can see kind of what I've done here in comparison to what I had just a minute ago. What you're also seeing on my page now is all of the additional modular plugins that can be added to welcome controller. So of course we still have server information, We've still got the rules section, but now we've also got kits, loadouts, skins, web store, VIP packages, Q&A, and also a stats panel. You don't have to have all of these. You can mix and match. For example, I have no reason to have a loadouts plugin on my servers. So if it were me, I wouldn't be buying the loadouts controller because I have no use for that. So if we go into the kit section right here, this is gonna feel a little bit recognizable. Obviously Amino has rebuilt his kits controller plugin from the ground up. So it's got a lot of different features in it, but all of the functionality is still there. So we have the ability to create kits, edit kits. We can control cooldowns max uses, all of the regular stuff. Now, something that's incredibly important about Kits Controller. You might be saying to yourself, okay, great. I have the free version of Rust Kits. I've got 10, 20, 30, maybe 50, maybe even 100 different kits built from my server. I don't want to have to rebuild all of those kits in a new plugin just so that I can use this cool new UI. So if you think you're in a position and you want to switch over to Kits Controller, Amino has built in a command that will automatically convert everything from your Rust Kits, your free version, into the information that is usable inside of kits controller. So it's super duper easy. It's going to take seconds and you're done. You don't have to build any new kits just because you've changed to a different kits plugin. This is what the loadout plugin looks like. Obviously it makes it so that each individual player can create their own loadout. This is mainly used for battlefield servers, maybe RP servers. I don't know, something like that. And then of course we've got skin controller, which of course gives us the ability to skin whatever item in game is skinnable. But what's really cool about skins controller is we can go up to this manage outfits button right here and we can set up pre sets so that all we have to do is go into the skin controller, boom, click a button, and we've got access to multiple different skin sets. So if you've got a specific rating skin set that you like to go out with or a specific hunting or whatever, basically whatever you want, you can set up these different outfits and then just click on this button right here, apply to inventory and boom, your entire outfit is all skinned up. We've also got shop controller. So a shop plugin, which I'm sure everyone is used to seeing, the admin has the ability to decide what items are for sale, how much they cost, what type of currency the player needs to have in order to purchase something something from the shop. So right now that's obviously economics, server rewards, or whatever item ID the admin determines. Could be scrap, could be clones, could be hemp fibers. It could be literally whatever you want it to be. You can also set it to be sold back to the shop. So if your players have an abundance of a specific item that is available to be sold back to the shop, they can click on this money bag right here and sell those items back to the shop. Not everything needs to be sellable and certainly not everything needs to be purchasable. There's a categories button down at the bottom here. Obviously I only have a couple 
couple of items put in here. So this is a tire that we've got in here right now. And then I've also got a weapon section that I just quickly did just for this video. But the more items you add from the more different categories, of course, they're gonna show up at the very bottom there. I know it's right behind me, you can barely see that. And one important thing that I know people are gonna ask is yes, you can set up commands so that players can buy commands directly from their shop. And then the next two items that you can see here are VIP packages and Q&A. And I'll also bring your attention to these two icons right here, the Discord icon and this little store icon thing right here. All three of these items come as a part of an add-ons plugin called Welcome Controller Additions. Totally optional, but if you wanna be able to show the VIP packages that you're selling through your Tebex store, you can do that here. I think I've got something set up there. Yeah, so this is just the default one that comes with it. This one obviously doesn't work for me, but you would have it set up so that the player could go in here, click on the store, and then they would get the URL to where they actually would need to go. So they, of course, could select that, copy that to their clipboard, take that to a web browser, and boom, shakalaka, they're at your store ready to buy your VIP package. The Q&A part of the additions plugin is, of course, another really big tool. You, of course, get to determine whatever your frequently most asked questions are and then provide an answer to it. So when they click on the question, it changes to that answer. And here's a little sneak peek into the future. If you're looking at the CodeFlink site, you're going to see that there's a stats controller light. But what I'm going to show you here is the actual full-on stats controller that hasn't been released to the public yet, but I'm hoping that it will be very, very soon. So all of these different categories are obviously configurable. If you don't care about a specific metric, you can take it out of the config and it'll completely ignore the information reported from it. If you want to look at each individual player, you can click on the player's name and it's going to show you a bunch of specifics about that one player. Obviously, this being a test server, I don't have any valid information for it, but you get the idea. You know what a stats panel should look like. But the reason why I wanted to show you this with a whole bunch of zeros and no information on it is because Rust literally just added today, the day of the recording of this video, the ability to scroll. Now, I know that sounds really stupid to be excited about it, but this is kind of a big deal for the developers and people that use plugins in Rust. So now we have the ability to scroll inside of a UI that we've never been able to do before. Yeah, I know it sounds dumb to be excited about it, but even I was excited when I found out that that was coming. So that was basically just a really quick overview. So obviously, like I said at the beginning, you you can get just welcome controller by itself. And I do have a promo code that you can use to save 20% off of each one of the plugins that you buy individually. Unfortunately, I couldn't convince Amino to make my promo code work for the package price. I totally get it, but I definitely tried. So use the promo code bull, YT, no space, at the time of checkout to save 20% off for whichever plugin you decide. But like I said, that doesn't work for the package price. So I hope I've given you enough information about Welcome Controller and all of the associated modular plugins that can go with it if you want to. But of course, if there's something that you think I've missed or something that you'd like me to dive deeper into, I'd be more than happy to do that. And I'm sure Amino would too. But you gotta let me know in the comments section down below if that's something that you want me to do. Another really important detail that I want you to recognize that all of these plugins, so the Shop Controller, Kits Controller, Skin Controller, even the Stats Controller are also standalone plugins. So you don't have to have the Welcome Controller plugin in order to utilize each one of those individual plugins. As you're seeing it on my screen right here, this is obviously integrated into Welcome Controller, but you definitely don't have to do that. And of course, there was something else that I wanted to show you, and that is this. So again, taking it one step further, this is just crazy out there, but this image that you're now seeing right here, so these arrows on the left-hand side right here, that Rust Admin Academy logo, plus this something over here too, this is actually a background image that I created just to show you what it would look like, because you can replace the entire background, everything that's behind what you're currently seeing right now. I know it looks ridiculous, I intended to do that, just to show you that literally there's nothing on your screen right now that isn't customizable in some way, shape, or form. Alright, so that is all the customization, that is all of the different plugins that are currently available. Oh, it's also important to note that Amino is making it so that other developers can make it so that their plugins are usable inside of his Welcome Controller UI. I don't know if he currently has that done right now at the time of the recording of this video, but I do know that that is coming. So if there are developers watching this, keep that in mind, you might be able to become a part of this. Use the promo code BULLYT, no space, at checkout to save 20% of each individual plugin that you purchase. Again, the promo code doesn't apply to the package price, but I think for right now, that's going to do it. Thank you all so much for watching. Bada boom, bada bing. See you next week.